Hello YouTube, this is Matthew here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at UFADE and how to use that to take a full file system image of a jailbroken iPhone and I'll also be talking a little bit about the process of how to jailbreak an iPhone too so if you're interested in any of that stick along and continue and find out Okay, welcome back to my computer, and this is going to be the part about the jailbreak. So now with the, with the jailbreak incoming for this specific iPhone 8 Plus, I'm going to be using the Pale Rain jailbreak. Because as you'll see if you check the compatibility chart here, it's compatible with iOS 15 and later for... A8 to A11 devices, and my iPhone 8 Plus here, an A11 device, is one of the devices on this list that it's comp compatible with. So essentially, it's available on only Linux and Mac OS systems, and if you go back to the Pale Rain site, Pale Rain, Pale RA1 in as in Pale Rain. So if you if you type that in, you'll be able to download it in num in one of two ways actually one of three ways. So generally for Linux in Wind Linux and Mac OS devices, you're gonna be able to do it directly through this GitHub page that we just went. And for that, you use a certain command. That is said in... This documentation right here. And so there's certain commands that you have to press on your Mac or on your Linux. And also make sure that for your phone, you stay away from computers with an AMD Ryzen CPU because you may have problems and that you also use a USB-A to lightning cable. But if, you, if it doesn't work for you on any of those computers, you can try Halenix. And for that you need The pale pale Linux I I ISO file, and this is just a disk image of the whole entire thing that you boot into on your own device. So as you can see here, it oh yeah, also Belin Belina Etcher too, and for that you go to this page, you go to that page. You download Etcher and run it on a USB device that you have free. And after you do that, you'll be able to burn it to this. And you'll be able to do all of this stuff with Pale Ring. And then after that, you use it. It'll automatically go through the script. And just do everything that it says. And if it succeeds, you'll be jailbroken. And let me take you back to my iPhone to see what you get post install. Okay, so now welcome back to my jailbroken phone. And in this part of the video, we're going to be going through the phone and seeing what the jailbreak does after the fact. So after the fact, you get two apps. You get this Pale Rain app right here. Pale Rain and... You can use that to get, actually. And so this Pale Ring app, it's just something to get these two application stores. 
and you can either get the Silio app or the Zebra app. Now if I go back home and go into the Silio app which I have you can see here that this is what you get when you start out. And you can search things here like say for instance SSH and you can see that I have open SSH installed. And then you can also grab things and See if I were to press one of these things and buy it. I'm able to I'm able to see it in here and if I press the install button and install it, I'm able to go through and do whatever needs to be done to play it. And then say for instance one app that I downloaded which is called Filesa, which is an alternate file manager. And this Filesa allows us to see all the files within our file system. So I can go into files like this last build info.plist which just shows a bunch of information about the stuff within the phone. Then I could also go into other databases such as uh, such as var mobile library Core Duet Core Duet Knowledge and Knowledge C.DB and go through all of its tables right here. Z object and see all this stuff within the tables. And all that information there you can see all of the stuff in that place. And I'll just give you a little bit of a hint as to what that is. So the Knowledge CDB stores a lot of stuff about the states of apps and the states of the phone. And you can learn more about that later on in the series. But for now, just know that it exists. And if you're really curious as to what it actually has in it, there are plenty of blog posts already out there about what it has in it. So you can do that and we can also get to the end of the video. Okay, hey everybody, it's Matthew here and I'm in my computer right now. So in this case with UFade, I'm using a Windows, a Windows computer. And for Windows computers, UFade is able to be used in an executable so from GitHub, when you type in the word UFADE, you can grab this zip folder right here, UFADE 0.8.1. And once you download and install it, you can go to your wherever you want to go. But if you're on either Mac or on any type of Linux, you have to first clone the GitHub repository like so, and then you have to install the dialog using this library right here. And also for app for Windows, you have to have iTunes and 
this Apple Dash Devices thing. So, go here if you're on Windows, download that, install it. And then if you actually clone the repository, you're going to have to Python either this command if you want to do it on the command line, or for the GUI version of it, you're going to do you fade that. And once you get UFADE, you're going to go over to whatever folder you have it, save it in. So I have it in a forensics tools thing, 0.8.1. And then you're going to click on this, this executable, if you're on Windows, running it the way that I am. And then once you do that, you'll get a window like this. If you haven't plugged a device, paired it, and accepted it yet, you're going to have to do that on your own. So, so the first thing that you get to do is you get to either accept saving the device info, you can acquire or take the acquisition options, you can collect the unified logs, you can do advanced or developer options. So in this case, I'm going to click this, or I'm going to click to acquire information. And then after I do that, I'm going to have to pick between logical backup, logical plus, UFED style, logical plus backup, and full file system backup. So since my phone is 16.7.8 and jailbroken, I can do that. And it worked like this for me. And you would press OK. And yeah, if it were correct, I, I do have SSH on the device, and it is still broken too. But, in this case, it errored out, but it would go through this, it would take out all the information from the device, and then after that, it would be getting something like this, it would be getting a tar file like that and you'd extract it like I'm doing here with the WinRAR and after you do that you'll be able to get into this folder and this folder shows your private and everything but we want private VAR and whatever else whatever else is in here for all of this All of this normal stuff that we see in a normal image. And you can do all that you want with it, like go to go to here, mobile library. Uh, mobile library Corduet Knowledge and look at your knowledge C dot database to see all the information that, that holds. You can go to a var install d library mobile installation and type in last build info dot playlist or plist for the preference list that shows the version that you have. You could go for You could go for wireless information that's within library databases 
of cellular usage and data usage under VAR wireless library databases. And you could do any number of other things that you want right here. Yeah, net usage and under library preferences, okay. But yeah, under network, you can go to this database and see whatever network information that holds on your device or on my device if we have the image online yet. And, and so at the moment, that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and come back for the next one, which will be the start to the actual series of iOS forensic artifacts that we like to see on our devices. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.